going back to basics, delicious Dutch oven casseroles. Nigella Lawson, is that with a new cookbook? Nigella Kitchen, recipes from the heart of the home. Nigella, welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, it's always lovely to be here and it's, talk to you. It's a pleasure. I like the concept here. The, this is all about making people want to run to the kitchen as opposed to some people who say, i got to get away from the kitchen. I know, because I always think the kitchen is where you escape to. And especially cooking something like this, there's something so cozy and bolstering, and I, I, and I like that. You love Dutch ovens. Why I are these do. things so great? Well, I think because I always think, you know, that's how food always was cooked. And these are heavy cast iron, and the flavor is so good, and they keep the heat in. So, I mean, I do this. I, I started off. You know, on the uh, you know on a stove, but in an oven, a low oven, uh, the flavors come out miraculously. This is a great casserole. This is a braised beef casserole. Yes. You're using what beef shank for this? I am. Why beef do you like shank that cut? Because it makes the, everything so melting and luscious. It's the so, longer you, you cook it, the more tender it yes, gets. Yes, but also, but you start off, and also, what is really helpful is if you cook it ahead. And then reheat it like all stews. It's better. I always like that. But weren't you going to flour that a little bit? I am bit? going to flour okay, it now. Do I do it the lazy oh, way. You do? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I'm going to do a bit of allspice. All right. Because in the old days, they used to thicken this stew with gingerbread. So I try and evoke the flavors. Bit of allspice, bit of thyme, and now I put some flour in. So just going to sprinkle it over the whole thing. It's just easy, you know. So I'm just going to stir it in, and I don't worry if it isn't all stirred in enormously, because this is going to cook for three hours, so it'll do its thing. Three whatever. hours. By the time this is done, this is going to be like fall apart with a fork oh, it's tender, going to right? Be, and just, I'm going to add a bit of stuff here. Okay. I have here some broth, beef broth. I mean, this calls for a dark ale. Dark ale, because it's from Belgium, this. It's a, but you can use any dark ale. It doesn't have to be Belgian dark ale. You can't just throw any beer in there. It's got to be a dark ale. No, 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 you can. I wouldn't put a lager-style beer, but okay. you can use any. And what I love about this is that we always think about making casseroles with wine, so it's quite nice to think of other liquids What was that you use. just put in there? A bit of grain mustard. Okay. A bit of sugar. Dark sugar. That's to keep up with the gingerbread. Okay. In we go. And you're going to basically be able to just put the lid on this thing and walk away. Yes, and can you imagine how lovely the kitchen's going to smell? What would you generally serve this with when you're done? Well, what I would do, it always mashed potatoes are good. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Mashed potatoes, good noodles. Uh, noodles are fantastic. But what I've got for you, look, a hunk of bread I just to that. dunk you know in that. there. You know in, that. A, in a way, are, are you eating carbs these days? Yeah, absolutely. I'm eating <laughs> just about everything these days. Here we go. It's cozy, it's been, isn't it? It almost I has like a little bit of a sweetness food. to it, which it is does. really good. And a bitterness from the beer, but it's family food, which I love. Come on back here. Talk will, to me I'm what you're making on this one. Tell me so about this So this is, dish. again, so you don't need wine. This is chicken with cider. So it, in a way, started off a bit like that pot there with some bacon. So I've got some bacon and chicken thighs. Now, I really think people should eat chicken thighs rather than chicken breast always. I think it's the most flavorful part of the chicken. Well, a I lot of people get worried no, that no, there's no. more fat in them. Yes, but that's why it tastes good. Yeah. But also, I always say twice the flavor and half the cost. Okay. So it, it does have to be better. So with the pancetta, what else goes in there? Now I've got the chicken there. I'm going to put a bit of garlic. I'm going to put some celery. It's very beautiful and green. Which These leeks? The spirit. These are leeks. Okay. Some leeks. Again with mustard. You're into the yes, mustard uh, today. I, I know, but mustard always adds a piquancy, which is good. Peas, and these are just frozen peas. Defrosted first, or do you have to... Uh... I never bother, but I'm sure you're meant to. Okay. And cider. What kind of cider is that? This is hard cider. I don't want it too sweet. But if you wanted to use regular cider, you could too. All right. And this is in a more of a brazier type. And how long does that go? Well, I would say about 50 minutes to an hour. But if you want to use boneless then I would eat 20 minutes and you'd be done. So it's very easy peasy. And right at the end, if we may move along, don't burn yourself. There we go. Here, I just put some, I'm going to add a teeny bit of mustard right now, actually. Right. I'm going to just go to here. Teeny bit of mustard, some fresh lettuce. Which is going to wilt down real just nicely. Just wilt down and give a bit of, and then a bit of tarragon. And just show everybody what it I looks like that. when we're finished. Nigella Lawson. Great recipes for fall. Always nice to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you so much.